I like the fluffy pillows. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in, oh my gosh, are you Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be going furniture shopping for our new house. So whenever you move, certain furniture just doesn't fit in your house the same way and you have to get new furniture to adjust. The boys are sharing a room and the girls are gonna be sharing a room at our new house. And here, Bella and Nolan, my three-year-old and five-year-old share a room. I have a nursery and I have my older child has her own room. So over here, we're moving to a three bedroom from a four bedroom. So obviously I can't put Adeline's full-size bed and a twin-size bed in one room. It will take up the whole floor space so we're gonna have to do two twin beds in there and I'm gonna do a twin bed in my baby and toddler's shared room I was gonna do a toddler bed for my three-year-old but I got to looking at the crib and a toddler bed in a crib is basically the same size and Nolan is big he is as big as Bella and she's five so I didn't want to buy a bed that he could only use for like a year and then end up having to buy another bed today we're just gonna kind of go out and see what kind of furniture we can see because we are looking into eventually not at one time buying a new couch because the couch that we have we got from Facebook Marketplace and it's super old and y'all it has a few like cigarette burns in it from the previous people that had it and we don't even smoke cigarettes so eventually we want to try to get a new couch we have to get three twin size beds and we're gonna look into getting like matching dressers with the bed. So we're not gonna be buying all this outright. I was looking on Amazon just to buy three twin size beds and a new mattress because I need one more twin size mattress. It was gonna be close to like $600. And so we were thinking if we could go and finance something, then we could pay like $60 a month for a couple years or something like that. So we would rather just do that instead of dropping $600 at one time. So we're gonna go see if we can find some furniture and see if we want to finance anything. So today we're just kind of looking we may find something, we may not, but I'm going to take y'all along with us and show y'all some of the furniture that we end up looking at today. Also, Adeline, my 11-year-old, she is not going to be coming with us, so you won't be seeing her at all in today's video. She's actually spending the night, spending the weekend with one of her really best friends. Today is Saturday, so Eric's at home, so it's going to be me and the three littles, and I always have to tell myself, it's not going to all fall into place at one time. We're not going to move in and have everything that we need. There's a lot of stuff I'm trying to get rid of that's not going to be working in our new house, so since the boys are sharing a room, Jackson kind of has like a long my nursery so I have a really really super cute boys room theme that I'm gonna be doing for their room the girls room is also gonna be really cute my girls are ages 5 and 11 so I kind of am meeting right in the middle and doing something that they're both gonna like so I already know how I'm gonna be decorating the kids rooms but I know that it's not gonna all come at one time it's gonna be a work in progress and I can't wait to share the room makeovers with y'all So the super crazy thing about having a key fob is that if the battery dies in your key fob, you can't crank your car up. I went to crank the car up and it said key fob not detected and I always keep it in the diaper bag. The diaper bag's in the car so I get out and looked in the diaper bag. Sure enough, it's in there. The battery is dead and it kept giving me a message saying key fob battery low so I need to change that. That is absolutely crazy. It should at least have like a side over here that has the option to have like a key and this could just be like a second feature because if your battery dies, like you're just stuck wherever you're at. So I put this right up again against the start button and it crunk up. So we have another one, but the battery on that one is dead too. So while we're out today, we're gonna grab a battery for this key fob. While we're waiting on Eric, I guess I'll dust the van because it's getting a little bit dusty. I shared this in my car clean out video and it is the best thing ever. Ready, Freddy? Jackson hasn't had his nap yet. Maybe he won't be too grumpy while we're out.
Oh, that's really nice. I really like that. That'd be easy to wipe clean too. And the leather seats. It's featuring the moon. I seen furniture that I liked. I really liked like the weathered bed, the weathered look of the bed. I liked two, there was two of them that I liked, but the last one we looked at I really liked too. <laughs> there was two couches I really liked. I liked the pleather because, I liked the pleather because it was, it'll be easy to wipe down with the kids instead of having like some cloth, like really absorbent cloth or something. What did you like? The lighter color. Like, what about the last one we looked at that I was talking about? The one we just looked at last. I don't remember. I was getting on to that one. Um. <laughs> the very last bed we looked at was my favorite for us. They gave us this paper that has more furniture, so. And then I liked, for the boys' room, I liked the white and the wood colored bed. Yeah, it had a nightstand and a dresser. Really liked that one for the boys. Yeah, you could get it, you could get like the whole set. You could get like the dresser, the nightstand, the bed, like the whole deal, the whole package, or you could just like piece it out. Like if you just wanted a nightstand and a bed, you could do that too. Okay, let me see it and I'll open it for you. But I really liked a lot of the furniture that they had, but we're gonna go to one more furniture store. This was Farmer's Furniture, and we're gonna go to Badcock. Once you actually put it in the house, it'll look bigger than what it looks like in the store. Okay, this one's my favorite. Imagine the fingerprints we would get on that thing. I see it. Is that a little chair? That would be a princess bed for Arabella. Wow. That one is cute, huh? Look, Nolan, it's an airplane bed. Okay, so at Badcock, I really only seen one piece of furniture I liked there, and it was the bed. Like, as soon as I seen it from a distance, I was like, yes. <laughs> but that one costs too much. Yeah, first we're gonna try to get the kids' beds taken care of because they are just gonna have mattresses on the floor. We're gonna take our bed that we currently have to the new house so we can worry about our bedroom later on. So first we're gonna take care of the kids' rooms because Nolan is gonna need a mattress and a twin bed. There, there'll be two twin mattresses in the girls room but they're still gonna need twin beds so we just want to focus on the kids rooms first and then we can do our room and the living room i'm really excited to get another couch that's one thing i really want to do we'll probably do the kids the couch and then ours our room the kids our, bedroom yeah. couch and our room we'll probably just get a mattress for ours though yeah we need a new mattress really yeah, bad we have like a used mattress and it's 
it needs to desperately needs to be changed so but Jackson's getting ill he's probably ready to eat his baby food Ooh. farmers was cheaper than Badcock Badcock was more fancy right? yeah Badcock was more like fancier more expensive and then farmers was more affordable the well, farmers had more kids furniture. yeah the farmers th Badcock. farmers had more like kids furniture I didn't see anything I really liked at Badcock for the kids I just seen the bed that I loved for myself at Badcock but at farmers they definitely had like more kids stuff and I liked their couches more too. So the last wrong. store, yeah, we're gonna venture on. The last store that we're gonna go look at is Rooms To Go and it's a little bit more of a drive. So we're gonna head out there and that'll be our last store of the day. I like the fluffy pillows. That's pleather. Okay. Yeah, I want pleather. I want these pillows. <gasps> this is nice. Yeah, this is the pleather material that I want. <laughs> I can karate chop these. is what I like that rustic weathered look and then like the wood tops that's what I've been going for in every store so this is my favorite couch that I've seen so far and I really love these pillows. They're feather pillows. I love this whole couch and both of these pillows for like a couch. And it also comes with a recliner. So we could also put like a recliner right here. And we're gonna do the kids furniture first, but that's gonna be at Farmers. So we're gonna do Farmers furniture for the kids and then our room in the living room next. So what did we think about rooms to go? Was it expensive? <clears throat> uh, it was about the same. About the same. Did you see anything you liked? You didn't like the couch I liked? It was okay. I just really liked like the sectional the, though. I'm just the electronic one. Oh yeah, I did like that and that one's awesome. There was one electronic it was comfortable. couch. It was a sectional. It was really comfortable, but it had electronic buttons and I'm afraid that the electronic buttons might stop working like after it's completely paid off and the warranty's over with, you know? And so if the electronic buttons stop working, then we're just stuck with a couch that doesn't work after paying, paying well, it then off. Then it's just a couch. <laughs> but then you can't recline it because it's electronic. Like you have to recline it electronically. And then the other couch that had the fuzzy pillows, that one was my favorite. It was a love seat and a couch. And I just thought that the fuzzy pillows looked really cute on it. So in that store, I just really liked the couch and the fuzzy pillows. And then he liked the other sectional. They didn't really have any kids furniture. They said that at this location, they don't really have any kids furniture. So that's pretty much all the furniture that we like out of three stores. We're not going nowhere else, I don't think. It's hard. It is five o'clock now and we are headed back home. 
Hey y'all, so we just got back home. So Badcock was a little bit pricey. Things in there, I don't think we're gonna go there and purchase anything because everything was just really expensive and we didn't really see very much that we really liked in that store other than the bed set. I love the white wash bed set. I gravitated towards the light wash, rusted, weathered look of the furniture for our bedroom in all three of the stores. Badcock didn't really have anything for kids. They had a couple of things, but nothing we really were interested in. And then Farmer's Furniture had the best options for kids' furniture. They had bunk beds and twin size beds. Eric wants a sectional, so we have some decisions to make. He really liked the sectional, but I didn't like the sectional because I feel like the back of the couch was too low. We are aiming towards going to uh, farmers furniture for the kids furniture and either rooms to go or farmers for our bedroom and probably rooms to go for a living room suit we have lots of decisions to make and I cannot wait to make a decision this is not something that's gonna happen like that it's gonna be time-consuming it's gonna take time for things to fall into place so I can't wait to share all the furniture that we end up choosing in the way that I end up decorating our home and I'm so so excited to be able to take you all along with this thank y'all so much for supporting me thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today and we will see y'all in my next one